go ahead, sell me this pen. Today, I'm going to teach you how to sell anything to anyone, anytime. Now, when it comes to selling, when it comes to closing, there's so many techniques and so many ways. Today, I'm going to share with you three powerful secrets that you can use to sell anything to anyone. The very first secret is this. How do you turn something that's a commodity? How do you sell a product? How do you sell a service in such a noisy marketplace? Number one, understand this. People don't buy because of logic. People buy because of emotion and they justify it with logic. People buy based on emotions and they justify it with logic. I want you to think of something that you want to buy in your life. It could be a car, it could be a house, it could be anything. Just want you to picture that. Once you have that in your mind, I want you to ask yourself this question. Why do you want to buy it? Why do you want to buy that particular item? Why do you want to own that item? Why is that? Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's a new suit, it looks good on you. Maybe it's a new dress, maybe it's a new car, maybe it's a new house, maybe it's that vacation. But why do you buy it? I want you to dig a little bit deeper. If you peer through the layers, I think you'll realize you are buying emotions. Maybe you buy the item because of greed. You want to make money or you want to save money. Or maybe it's because of generosity, that by buying this item is going to help other people. Have you noticed sometimes, even the companies out there, if you buy this particular product, they're going to donate a certain amount to charities. Maybe you buy because of generosity. Maybe because of shame, that if I don't buy this, I'll look foolish. If I don't own this, I'll look foolish. Or maybe it's fear, that if I don't buy this, I'm going to be missing out. I don't want to miss out. Maybe it's an escape. That you go on the vacation, your 9 to 5 job is driving you fucking crazy, and you say, oh man, I need, I need some time off. Maybe he's doing it, buying it because of escape. Whatever those reasons are, those are very often emotional reasons. So you buy because of emotion, and you justify with logic. So think about when you're selling something to somebody. Are you just talking about features and benefits? What this thing would do for you? Or are you pushing those emotional hot buttons? I remember one time I was in Harry Rosen, which is a very well-known kind of men's, uh, menswear store, high-end in Vancouver. I walked into the store and I was walking by the Tom Ford section. And the salesman approached me and said, Sir, what, is there anything I can help you with? I said, no, I'm just browsing around. And he said, do me a favor. Put this suit on. Now, at the time, I've never owned a Tom Ford suit before. I have a lot of suits but I don't have a Tom Ford suit. He said, do me a favor, put this on. I said, all right, I put it on. He said, how do you feel? Well, it feels pretty good. I said, okay, also try this on, put on this tuxedo. I said, okay, that's pretty good. He said, oh, it looks great. He said, he said sir, are you, are you a fan of James Bond? I said, who isn't a fan of James Bond? Like, duh. He said, you see this suit right here, this tuxedo, is the exact suit, exact same design as he, James Bond wears in Casino Royale. You know the scene when he was gambling? He said, fuck, it looks good, right? And before you know it, I bought the damn fucking, fucking tuxedo, right? And it's a lot of money, costs a lot of money. And if you think about that, what am I buying? I'm buying emotions. What I'm buying is this, I'm buying when I wear this tuxedo, I mean, I feel good. As a James Bond fan, I feel like James Bond. Even logically, I know this, of course, is not James Bond, I'm not James Bond. But emotionally, it takes me there. This is cool that I own, you know, I wear the same tuxedo, the same fit, right? The same everything. And then he upsold me on the damn, like the, the shirt and the cuffling, the whole nine yard, right? That's what I'm talking about. People buy because of emotions and they justify it with logic. You have to understand that. Don't push your products. Don't just push your services. Don't push the features and benefits. Think about what are those emotional hot buttons that you're pushing. Number two, people don't buy their way into something. They buy their way out of something. It means people very often, they buy something because they have a problem they want solved. They want to buy their way out of that problem. People don't buy the drill. They want to hold on the wall. So what is it that you are, you are helping them solve that, what problem? 
What is it? What is that thing? You have to understand. So I always say the amount of money that you make is in direct proportion to how how deep you understand your marketplace's pain. The amount of money that you make is in direct proportion of how well, how deep you go, how much you understand your marketplace's pain. So you have to understand what it is, what 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 are the pains that people have, and how can you help them relieve some of that pain. So think about that. Number three, people don't buy products and services; they buy stories. Because when there are so many choices out there in the marketplace on the internet, any 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 product that you want, there are hundreds and hundreds of choices. How do you stand out? How do you add emotions to a commodity, a pen? What's the difference between a two-dollar pen like this, or a an eight-hundred-dollar Mont Blanc? John F. Kennedy limited edition exclusive pen, eight hundred dollar pen. It's the same pen. It has the same functions. Story. When you add story to it to an item, suddenly when you add the 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 John F. Kennedy the president story attached to a brand to a logo, it is ten times more valuable. It is a hundred times more valuable. It is three hundred times more valuable. That particular pen. All because of story, it writes the same. A two-dollar pen you can write too. That's the difference. So think about what what's the story. How can you inject stories into everything that you do? Maybe it's an origin story. How did you get started? Why do you do what you do? What are also stories of your customers? I was just launch a new YouTube channel. You can click on the link below. I put a link below in the description. You can check it out. It's the Dan Lok Global Community on YouTube. It has nothing to do with the program that I teach. It has everything to do with stories. It's stories from my students, what they have learned, their background, their stories. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with with the program that I run.、It、has nothing to do with that, but stories. It's other people's stories, other people's success stories. So, where are you using stories in your marketing in your business? How else can you use stories? Remember, facts. Tell stories, sell. Facts tell, stories sell. So, comment below. Tell me, based on these three secrets, how will you sell me this pen? Go ahead. Comment below. Sell me this pen.